We've made it to Nagasaki. That was a little stressful. Normally when you get on the train on the Shinkansen, you have to buy a ticket. You can't even get into the gate if you don't have a ticket. And this one has what's called a relay train. Apparently one of the prefectures didn't want them to build a bullet train going from Hakata to Nagasaki. Maybe one day, but right now you have to take this relay train. I didn't realize that you have to buy your ticket before you get on the relay train. So I just got on the train with no ticket. So that was a little stressful. I had to get off like midway, get a ticket, and then actually get on the bullet train. So it's whatever. It just kind of stressed me out. But anyway, got to Nagasaki. This hotel is literally like footsteps out of the front door, which is amazing. I came over here just to see if I could drop my bags off and they let me go ahead and check in at like 1.30. So that was nice. Uh, hotel is super nice. I basically only ever stay at Marriott, even back in like the Boost God days. Like Marriott, Marriott, Marriott. So I've gotten like a status with Marriott. So because I'm gold, they upgraded the room. I don't normally do room tours. I think they're goofy. Then I gotta show you this room because it is especially by Japan standard, it is huge and it is nice. Sick ass shower with no toilet like in the shower. The toilet's actually in this room, well, this room. So the toilet is in there. It's got one of them toilets that open when it sees you coming. This bed looks like it's gonna be luxury. We got a card playing table, we got the flat screen, we got the bar, lounge. Just gotta figure out how to open it. This balcony, son. What a nice surprise this was. Sick ass balcony you can see the water you can see the highway the railroad i to walk on this balcony oh oh it's pretty nice the train station is literally like under me so there's going to be unlimited food so much food i saw some of it coming in and i was like oh i'm hungry so i haven't really eaten anything today except some little snacks so i'm gonna get my shit together and go out and start the nagasaki adventure
Nagasaki is sick. Fucking Nagasaki, dog. Who knew? Not me. Well, I had a feeling. I went to the Peace Museum, the Peace Park, the, the entire atomic bomb memorial, which is, you know, always a interesting experience, but I'll tell you, being the only American that I saw surrounded by Japanese children on a school field trip is uh, immersive, to say the least. I mean, I know I didn't have nothing to do with it you know, long before my time, but it is, you just feel like everyone's <laughs> blaming you, silently judging you. I'm sorry, look, I'm sorry for everyone out there. I'm sorry for what America does all the time. I'm appalled all the time by just governments in general. I'm just flabbergasted. Just this gorgeous city, and I love, I love Nagasaki. I mean, Fukuoka was like more mellow Tokyo, but this, this is like perfect. It's like, it's not crowded, it's not crazy, it's not overwhelming. They got street cars, and it, it's, it's a cool ass place. So we just happened upon this craziness. This is just like a full on food fest out here right now. This is fucking insane. Quite possibly the craziest thing I've ever uh, stumbled upon in my life. Hundreds of these carts. Insane. It is like nuts how much there is and how many people are here. Like Wednesday night. It's wild. I learned and it's funny because when I got to town yesterday they had this big ordeal set up at the station here and I was like what is what is this you know a lot of people are like sitting around and like watching a big screen of a festival but apparently there is what's called the Kunchi festival it means on the ninth day yesterday was October 9th it goes on from like the 7th to the 9th and it changed I don't you know I'm not an expert I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert it's this huge festival they do in Nagasaki all these different cities come together do these performances main performances at like a certain spot I guess they do it at multiple spots but then they also go around town and do these performances as well they have like these crazy floats one's like a, sh a boat and then there's one of course of a dragon which seems pretty cool and i missed all that i didn't realize everybody was wearing these shirts yesterday that said like naga 2024 and i was like i don't wonder why everybody's wearing this specific shirt and it has to have something to do with this festival <laughs>
walking out of this restaurant here behind me. Uh, it's, I believe, called Hoon Thai. Bro. Oh, God. Um, I'm just tripping over shit because the fucking food was so good. I could not at all do any type of filming in there because I don't think they've seen a white guy in a long time. They were very interested, and I would have just been a total kook if I had started filming, but dude. The dumplings, the fried chicken in there is uh, the best fried chicken that I've probably ever had in my life. I mean, Japanese fried chicken is a different world already, and that shit was incredible. I'm not even hungry. I wasn't even hungry when I got there. It just, oh my God. We're pretty close to Chinatown. So I'm gonna stroll through Chinatown and not eat nothing and then go home. But my God, that was so good. That's the best part about this country is just all the food is so good. I have eaten so much. Weeks prior to this, I was just eating vegetables and some lean proteins. and whew, The wheels have fallen off, but God, it's not worth it. It's so good. If you're ever in Nagasaki, Huntai, H-O-U-N-T-E-I, amazing. It's just in this like random ass alley. This is how we do in Japan, dog. Random Alley, best food you'll have in your whole fucking life.
great dinner with Toshi san and we're gonna go out again tonight for dinner looking forward to that it's always great because Toshi gets to order everything and I don't have to think which is fantastic I am currently headed out it's like nine o'clock in the morning Toshi told me about a flea market in Yokohama today a really big one I guess and I already wanted to go to Yokohama and get dumplings so we're gonna go to Yokohama come back here maybe hit ramen kimura if I have time and then dinner with uh Toshi and then packing up and then tomorrow we're out of here So, I, th I think Toshi is trolling me because I basically I just waited in this long ass line. Got out to Yokohama, it took like an hour and a half. Been here before, but not this part. So, he told me this was like an antique like flea market, you know, a big one. I waited in this long line. I paid a thousand yen. I got this bracelet and I have no idea where to go. But also everyone in the line looks like basically like a manga nerd. And there's like a hallway full of manga, but they won't let you in there. They like yelled at me when I tried to walk in. And then they gave me some printouts, like a brochure, like program that is all just like a manga comic. So either I'm in the wrong place, I followed the map, Toshi's trolling me, or I'm just fucking confused at this point and don't know anything about anything. My brain is really tired from trying to figure things out so it could be me but uh, for now I'm just gonna go walk and get dumplings because I have no idea what the fuck is going on so we'll see we will we'll check back but as of right now I think I just wasted a thousand yen on a manga convention that I can't even get into. Today, I'm fucked up today. I don't know. There's so many people here. <laughs> this is crazy. I have never seen Chinatown like this. I mean, I've been here, this is like the sixth time I've been here, and it's never been like this. It must be a holiday or something. last night from Toshi that he accidentally sent me to the wrong place well the wrong day right place wrong day the antique flea market was Friday and Saturday Sunday the day that I went was definitely some weird the word of the 
of the event translates into boy nerd. When you look through the manga, it's definitely like some weird boy stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it without sounding crazy, but nothing that I would ever attend or go into. So, uh, yeah. And, and they made sure you had, they, they were like very adamant checking that you were at least 18 to get in. So do what you will with that. You know, I don't, some of the, uh, Manga was definitely very suggestive in the catalog. So, good thing we uh, went with our intuition there and did not even go in. Basically, paid a thousand yen towards their organization, which probably isn't the best either. Yeah, so we avoided that. We uh, we just kind of kicked around Tokyo. Tokyo's insane. Uh, I, I don't, you know, honestly, future trips, I probably won't come to Tokyo unless it's just, again, just to see Toshi because I love him so much. He's the best bonkers out here now it's the amount of people now is way more than it used to be uh four or five years ago but overall great trip we are headed to the airport now super stoked because you know sometimes doing playing the game really works out for you you know with the credit cards and the points and the statuses and all this stuff because last night i got upgraded to polaris business class off of points which is incredible. I mean, the fact that I get to lay down full-on baller experience on the way home is like the cherry on top of this trip because it is going to be so comfortable. I mean, I was pretty comfortable on the way out here. I was in premium plus, which is better than like economy. I'm just, I can't sit in economy. It's not on some bougie shit. It's on some like my body hurts shit. I'm old and big and all these things. I had a really good time. There's been some ups and downs. There's been, you know, reminders of why I love being home, but also reminders of why I like to go out and explore and, you know, get out of my comfort zone and find new things to get into. So, yeah, appreciate you coming along on the journey. Until next time. Peace.